All right, guys, we're moving on down to, uh, we're still under a seller's disclosure notice, but we're moving on down. We've already done the addendum to the seller's disclosure. Um, now we're going to go over to information about on-site sewer facility. So you can find this document if you go over to the dot loop. Um, it's still under the broker. Um, well, let me show you. So add, go to add document, go to templates, broker listing, residential. You should be able to scroll down here. You see the seller's disclosure, addendum to the seller's disclosure, um, related documents. That's the, here it is, information about on-site sewer facility. Click on that, copy it. I've already done that. Click on the document, take a look at it. All right, so property address, everything goes in there, right? So description of the on-site site facility, sewer facility on the property. So type of treatment system, is it a septic? Is it an aerobic system? Is it an unknown? Um, seller will know most of this information. They need to put as much information that they're knowledgeable about, um, factual information on here as possible. The type of distribution system. If they know that, put it here. If they don't, unknown. The proximate location of the drain field. I have had this to where, um, you know, they did not know exactly where it was on the property. And uh, they didn't know this information. So if they don't know, it's okay to them to put unknown. And then that way, when they're doing inspections, an inspector can find all this stuff. So they can find and disclose to the buyer exactly where it's at. Um, you know, if you're working with a buyer, if you're reading this and um, you're going to want to request a, um, you know, a inspection of the sewer system, right? So of the septic and um, there's a lot of things can happen, might be full, might need a re replacement. Um, sometimes they've been neglected. Some people's never had anything, any work done to them at all. Um, so, but some of them will have really good records. They'll have a maintenance agreement with a service company. Um, if they have that, this is where all that information will go. You know, who was the installer, if you know, the approximate age of it, right? Maintenance information. Is a seller, a seller aware of any maintenance contract um, in effect for the sewer facility? A lot of times when you work with a, you have a maintenance agreement, will it come check it uh, once a month, once every quarter, whatever your agreement states? And you'll put all their information here. You know, last time it was inspected, um, do you know the last time the tanks were pumped, right? So they, they doesn't happen all the time, but if you have it long enough, you're going to run into where they need to be pumped. So put it all right here. And this is where that information go. If you're aware of any defects and a lot of times people have a problem with their sewer, but it's functioning, right? If they know of a problem, they need to list it because it's going to get caught and it's better to be up front. The last thing you want is for a seller to know there's an issue uh, say it's leaking or something, but it's still working and they didn't have the, the funds to replace it or repair it at the time. Um, and they did not disclose it. They hire a service company to come out and they're like, well, we have records saying we told the previous owner that this should have been done years ago and it didn't get disclosed. Well, guess what? The buyers possible, they're going to want to go after the seller for reimbursement for not disclosing that information on a repair that needed to be done. Those kind of things can come back and they will a lot of times. So you got to think of a lot of times where you have a um, septic tank that might be in a rural area. Well, you might not have a lot of people that work on septic tanks in the area, right? So a lot of those uh, sellers might use the same uh, company for their service agreements. They need to disclose everything and anything when it's possible. And if they don't want to disclose it and you know about it, you need to disclose it and explain to your client the importance of the disclosure. So if they have that information, we want to put it all here. Planning materials, permits, and contracts, right? So the following items concern the on-site sewer facility are attached. So if you have any of this information, the maintenance agreement, warranty information, put it here again. And then this right here is just some information showing the um, what's required and of course they'll need to sign it and the seller and the buyer will need to sign this form so and this will protect all parties involved and that again is the on-site sewer 
facility for them. 